Hey, beloved, this is your sister Truth Seeker. Hey! <laughs> so happy to see you guys. I missed you all. Oh my goodness. Um, just getting on here to, you know, let you guys know that I am back. Happy New Year 2016. Woo woo. Um, it was my, my, health journey it was long and tough um but the good lord in christ jesus he has healed me i'm doing much better and i give him all the glory um i just love him so much i could not have done it without him without you guys prayers i thank you guys i was getting your mail and messages uh I kept mostly uh, off of YouTube, but uh, for the most part on Facebook, on my personal page, and, uh, you know, was pretty much letting the saints know, my brethren know what was going on with me and getting prayer. Um, I did want to turn my channel into like this, you know, dramatic, you know, journey about my failed health, you know, and... and because I didn't want to discourage anyone because I had some thoughts and, you know, some very bad days where I just felt like going on to glory, you know. And who wants to hear that, you know, every time a video pop up, you know. I'm not, I'm a self-motivated person. And it's like going through that tough, very painful uh, journey, it's like, well, I didn't feel so self-motivated a lot most of the time it was the 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 words of of faithful brethren and supporters of mine that got me through a lot of the, that time and um i just thank you all you know i didn't want this to be a, a pity party uh you know journey you know channel or anything for me so that's why i wasn't blogging um about it but uh <laughs> It's over now, uh, glory to God, and I'm just giving my testimony of how the Lord is a healer, you know, as we all know, Jesus healed, and um, I've been through a lot, you know, just want to talk to you guys a lot, uh, it's going to take a few videos, I'm not going to do it all in this one video, but I mean, I went from, you know, that pain and, and and still battling false prophets, uh, one being uh, David E. Taylor. Uh, you know, he and I, the prophet David E. Taylor, he and I uh, had a back and forth because I challenged and checked him and rebuked him about uh, having conferences alleging and, and showing allegedly Jesus appearing. And he, Jesus is like putting on the sad show in his... Uh, conference, these performances, false, fake, you know, works of the devil performances, and, you know, he and I had a heated back and forth, and he told me that God was not going to heal me, and, um, you know, of course, the Bible says, <laughs> uh, if a prophet, something a prophet says doesn't come to pass, he's a false prophet, well, <laughs> false prophet, I am healed, uh, so wanted to, of course, uh, get into that, in another video. Uh, speaking of videos, I will be uh, doing the uh, a review on the Preachers of Atlanta and uh, this for Alanitra Hall. Alanitra Hall thick pen. You know, got my glasses, girl. Got my glasses. You know what's, what's getting ready to happen. We fruit checking. So I will be uh, having that Preachers of Atlanta fruit check video. It's like a pre review to the review. Uh, that'll be coming out. I'll have that up for you guys within the next day or so. Uh, I want to put up a video about uh, uh, a little bit about removing tears from your life. I wanted to speak on that. Um, you know, uh, there are so many other things, you know, that went on. I really, you really find out when you're sick you know, and going through whatever it is you're going through, even if you're not sick, whether it's financial or, you know, just strife and struggle, you find out who your real friends are. So I had to 
uh, do some pruning off of that friend tree recently, you know. And uh, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about that. Um, also, I've been getting, you know, I get so many stories and um, situations emailed to me and, and mailed to me from you guys who would like for me to, uh, you know, speak on it in some of my videos. So I will I may start doing a segment about some of those uh, where you guys, you can just write me, you know, your crazy, crazy mayhem and foolery <laughs> stories. It could be about the paranormal, you know, some crazy things that have happened. I have some stories myself. Um, you know, as many of you know, I used to be a witch, so I have some crazy stories to tell um, about that and my experiences. And I'm in recent talks right now with a witch. The, uh, the Lord have led me to uh, witness to uh, a witch that I'm currently speaking with and uh, witnessing to Jesus Christ. So, you know, definitely if you guys want to get those stories in, um, it's a couple of the crazy stories about uh, loved ones, you know, dying and asking me if they're in hell or not and some crazy situations that th those people did before they died that it's just like when I tell you guys, you're going to be like, mm, I don't know <laughs> about that one. You know, uh, you know how people always putting folks in, in heaven at the funeral and care now. And I told y'all, don't invite me to y'all's funeral and stuff. I know y'all don't. don't. I, that's why I'm not even having a funeral, <laughs> you know, I, whether good or bad, I don't need nothing said about me, you know, a, at all. I just want to go on to glory. Uh, when I was ill, I actually told my family, you know, hey, just get the insurance, you know, and bury me. I do not want a funeral. Uh-uh, not at all. Um, definitely not. No crying for me. Give me my roses and whatnot now. <laughs> okay, and my good words and praises now. But, um, yeah, so um, back to what I was saying real quick about the story submissions. It, you guys, um, maybe I'll call it True Story, you know, that segment. I don't know. And it'll be you guys' the stories, and you guys can comment and, you know, just say what you want to say with that. So I think that's something fun that I may add incorporating. Um, are you guys looking at any other uh, reviews that you're interested in me uh, reviewing and looking, taking a look at? Let me know. I'm very excited to watch uh, some of the reviewers who I have not been able to watch um, because of a lot of cursing and, you know, a lot of foolery and whatnot and carrying on going on in their reviews. But they have promised to, you know, do better with that, which I'm proud of them and i um, very happy that I'm going to be able to watch their stuff. Um, you know, um, it's kind of like some stuff make your spirit itch. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's hard for you to watch. It's hard for you to listen to, you know, uh, when you're trying to be right in the Lord and the spirit of the Lord takes over your life and you're just trying to be on right track. And I want to talk a little bit um, in another video to you guys about that, too, about the temptation and, and, and how hard it is to... Um, live that straight path life, you know, for the Lord. It is very hard because you have temptations pulling at you every which way. I experienced some of them recently, you know, some trying to get me back to go back to my old ways, you know, recently. And I'm just like, uh, uh, you know, because it, it looks appealing, you know, it's like a, a, a tree, a fruit tree that looks delicious, you know, the, the, the wayward lifestyle as opposed to the Christian lifestyle because then you have and I want to talk to you guys about this as well about how you have some Christians that's just over the top doing the most um, dealing with a, a Christian right now you know uh, in the process of rebuke because of uh, they just got into doing some of the Lord's ministry feeding the homeless things like that and they're it just have went to their head and they're you know putting it on everywhere this is what I'm doing and if you're not doing what I'm doing and you're not getting like me you ain't doing nothing I mean it's just out of hand so uh it's a good thing that the Lord got me coming back I guess this is my you know part of my purpose in him keeping me because I was going to die <laughs> I was on my deathbed I was ready to go you guys um death death was at my door in my bed foot in my bed every night there was some crazy, even supernatural things going on that I'll uh, 
talk with you guys about on a later video. But, you know, that's why he keeping me here to uh, get this truth out. So, um, so happy that I'm back, you guys. Um, love you all. Uh, look out for my next video. You know, drop by, say hey, thumbs up. Thank you so much to everybody who hung in there with me. I did notice a couple people fell off. I guess I wasn't being entertaining. So they were like, oh, bye. You know, she's not, you know, entertaining me. So I got to go. But uh, I actually gained more uh, viewers than I lost, which encouraged me. You know, so hey, welcome to those um, who uh, just joined me. You know, I'm True Seeker 5000, BKA Evangelist Donnie B. Anderson. And uh, you guys can connect with me. Uh, by sending me a uh, mail on YouTube uh, or on my Facebook page, Truth Seeker Anderson. Uh, if you want to communicate with me um, to submit your stories, uh, to even do business with me, I'm back in business uh, working on a, a something great that you guys definitely need to be a part of. So I noticed some business uh, marketers and, and whatnot uh, people have contacted me as well join sub subscribe to my page so uh let's get ready to do this guy it's 2016 and we're going hard that's my motto for this year going hard okay so i'll talk to you guys in the next video love you all Mwah. see you soon bye